Here today with head women's tennis coach Anthony Davison. Anthony, it's time to release the fall schedule. You got a bunch of tournaments lined up. Just your first thoughts looking at this fall's events. Yeah, um, we're excited about the fall. We've got a tournament coming up in a week's time at Charleston. Um, that should be a, a good start to the year. The whole team's going and uh, really looking forward to seeing how the freshmen handle it their first time wearing Charlotte gear. So uh, it's going to be fun down there and always a good location to go and play. And then, um, then we've, we split up a little bit. We've got four players going to Michigan. Um, that'll be a great tournament, one of the strongest four tournaments in the country against some of the top players in the country. So uh, managed to get ourselves in there and it's going to be good exposure for our players and get us um, kind of on the, on the path that we're trying to be on. Uh, the following week we have four players going out to Wilmington, so another nice location and um, we'll get some extra matches in down there. That should be a pretty strong tournament as well. And then then it's the regionals. The regionals is always always really tough and some very, very good level. You know, the Carolina region, most probably the strongest region in the country. So uh, we're going to be going up against uh, a lot of very good players that week and um, that will be exciting to see where we're at there. And before we wrap up at ECU, um, on the road over there, uh, a hidden door tournament at East Carolina. They were very good last year, so we'll have some good competition. I'm really excited for the fall. I think we've got good balance. Uh, we split the team up a little bit. We'll be traveling together um, a, a, a few times as well. So we'll have a good, good mix. Um, it should be a really good level and get us ready for, uh, for January when we, when we really want the results to start flowing. Last year, you were able to use the fall as a springboard to a fantastic spring. Um, what are you looking for from that standpoint, again, this fall, getting ready for the spring goals? Yeah, last year was a lot of learning in the fall, you know, getting to know the players and how they respond uh, to us as coaches and to some specifics. This year, we know most of the team really well, you know, so it's uh, it's a little different. We can build more on what we already know, what we know we need to focus on and work on. And then we've got our two new freshmen who have been great uh, thus far. They fit, fit in really well into practice. They're working hard. Um, and we know that they're gonna, gonna do very well for us. So it's gonna be really exciting for me and Brooke to see them uh, compete and uh, get a lot of m matches under their belt. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that um, in, the, in the coming weeks. A couple of these tournaments, um, team hasn't played in before, the Michigan event, the UNC Wilmington event, the East Carolina event. What are you looking for out of those events that are a little bit different from what this team has played before? Yeah, the, the Michigan one is, is definitely stands out. Um, you know, it's a limited tournament and we were fortunate enough to get four players into that. So I'm really excited to see the level there. Um, like I said previously, that's going to be a very strong tournament with some, some top players. So if we can mix with, with those teams and um, you know play the way we want to play, it's only going to help us for the big matches in the spring. So really happy that we're into that one. Wilmington's going to be fun for the for the players that don't go to Michigan. Um, you know, great locations and some good teams will be down there. I think that's also going to be a good tournament. And it's nice to split up the teams a little bit there, so we can kind of give a little bit, a uh, little bit more individual attention to each each player at those at those events. And then the East Carolina tournament, that's a new one this year. Um, it's actually new because we typically go to UNC for their tournament. Um, that's not happening this year because of, oh, it's not happening on such a big scale this year because of court resurfacing over there. Uh, so ECU has put this tournament on for, the, for some of the teams that won't be going to UNC. And then fingers crossed next year we'll be back at UNC for their tournament. But this should be a good fill-in tournament with some very good teams. Uh, we get to travel the whole team, you know, so we get to play a uh, good level and kind of support each other and see what it will be like, you know, in the spring moving moving forward as a group. Um, one thing we have not touched on is the 49er invite in mid-October here, Holden Wagner Tennis Complex. Having this facility, having the ability to host a tournament of your own, uh, what does that do for your program? It's great. We were able to, to play on our terms, you know, able to invite the teams that we want here and uh, structure things uh, in a way that, is beneficial for our program and hopefully for the other teams coming. I think this year we've really strengthened the tournament. Um, so previously that only only four teams came. We've upped that. There's going to be eight teams. We've got some some very good teams. Winthrop are coming. Georgia State are coming. Uh, we're still working on one last team. Hopefully we um, we can pull in some really strong players to our own tournament. Um, 
and that's that's only going to benefit our players and our program. So, yeah, that this tournament we're putting it on the map now as a, as a big tournament in this region, and I think it's fantastic. You know, it's got such a great facility to showcase it. We can hold we can hold a big tournament here on all of our courts. So, uh, it's it's really positive. All right, Anthony. Sounds like another exciting fall. I know you're ready to get started out on the competition courts, and I'm sure the players are as well. Thanks. Thanks for your time today, and we'll catch up with you soon.